Emily for putting this event together. Um, I grew up as a child of two Iranian immigrants. Um, I was six years old when September 11th um, happened, and as a child, it was really hard for me to understand what was going on in a world that I was still trying to get to know. Um, and growing up in an Iranian household in the middle of New Jersey um, was a bit confusing because in my house I was speaking Farsi, I was exposed to the culture, language, and food of my parents' homeland. Um, my father left before the Iranian Revolution and my mother left after the Iran-Iraq War, so even the home that we were going back to visit had changed so much um, during their lifetimes. Um, but one thing that I really learned growing up was um, being an American wasn't really a question of uh, who I was. I remember a question I got a lot was, well, what are you? Mm -hmm. uh, um, and sometimes I'd say, uh, I don't, uh, Persian, uh, Iranian, or I would sometimes pretend to be Italian if it was easier. <laughs> because my last name ends with an I and it was just easier and I didn't want to get into that conversation. Um, so, uh, as I grew older, I learned to, to really value um, my culture, um, many of you have been exposed to the poetry of Rumi, um, who is a Persian poet that's very well known. Um, and I learned that being American didn't have to do with uh, what language I spoke, but it was a shared value of diversity, openness, kindness, and I'm so lucky to have the choices that I have here. Um, and that I can have friends that come from all different cultural backgrounds. Um, so unfortunately, because of the travel ban and because of bad diplomatic relations, many of you are not able to visit Iran. So we hope to bring a little piece of Persian culture to you. The two songs that we'll be performing, one of them is a folk song um, from, where is it from? I don't know which part of your own story. Anyway, it's a folk song, um, and so you'll notice my dad will be playing an instrument called the tombak. Um, it's a goblet drum that is found in many different cultures, um, uh, but this is the Persian version, I guess. And, uh, and the second song will be a more modern folk song um, called Khune Yama, which means our home. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and uh, thank you for all being here.